Hi, my name is Kevin Harper and welcome to another video tutorial for 3D Studio Max. This one is on Character Animation Toolkit or CAT. How to get a character to use a two-handed weapon like this one, or two-handed object. This character is uh, something I'm working on for an iPhone game. Uh, there is already a tutorial out there for uh, 3ds Max, two-handed YouTube. Uh, if you type that into Google, you will see this tutorial by uh, this young gentleman. I will not dare to pronounce his name. But it is a really good tutorial. Um, highly recommend it if you're going to use a biped. Uh, it helped me a lot. However, I wanted to do it with a cat rig. And there wasn't, any, there wasn't anything about that on YouTube, but I did find a tutorial on it on uh, the area website from Autodesk. It was done by a gentleman named Luis Marcux. It's a very good tutorial, highly recommended. Again, th this one goes into uh, great details, uh, much more detail that I will go into. I will just uh, giving you the rundown. These tutorials assume that you already know how to set up a rig and you already understand uh, the layer system within CAD. If you do not understand the layer system or you do not know how to set up a rig within uh, Character Animation Toolkit, I highly recommend that you go to 3DS How, to, how To's uh, channel on YouTube and check out their uh, three-part or five-part series on uh, Character Animation Toolkit. So I'm going to start by reverting back to uh, a point where uh, the hand is not linked. And now if, you, if I move the sword, you'll see that the hands are not moving. And if I move the hands, the sword is not moving. Stuff like that. Alright, so let's get started. So as you can see, the right arm is blue. right? That indicates that uh, they're all on the same IK chain. So as, as the whole left arm is blue because they, that's all on the same IK chain. So let's start by adding a new layer. We're going to add an adjustment layer. I mean, uh, not an adjustment layer, an absolute layer. And we're going to call this hold sword. With any bone of this arm selected, click on create IK target. Now it created the IK target at the character's feet. But that position right now is irrelevant. So if we click on select IK target and then we click on move IK target to palm, it will move the IK target to the character's palm. Now if I move this IK target to the side, you'll see that the hand is not really following. This is due to the fact that this slider right here controls how much the character's rig is actually listening to the IK target. So if I move this slider over, you see that the hand is now starting to follow that IK target. So if I move this back and click on move IK target to palm, now, um, uh, and I'm going to slide this over, so now the, the IK target is, uh, the, uh, the hand is following the IK target really nicely. But now to get the IK target to follow the sword, we got to make sure that uh, hold sword layer is selected. With hold sword layer selected, look at your assigned controllers area and click on your hold sword IK layer, which is under the layers. Click on assign controller and select the link constraint. Now while you have your IK selected, you will see that in this uh, uh, hold sword layer, um, you will see this new link parameter down here, which you can click on add link and then click on your sword. This will now allow you to uh, move your sword and you can see the hand is following rather nicely. We're going to do the same thing to the other hand. So, to repeat the steps, click on your hand, click on create IK target, select IK target, move IK target to palm, and then click on, with the uh, uh, hold sword layer selected, click on hold sword, and then click on assign controller, link constraint, add link, and click on the sword. Now you can see that if I animate, oh, one more thing of course, click on the IK target, make sure that this is slid over to the IK side. You can animate this if you want at any point the sword to no longer follow the IK, but you want to uh, animate that independently. So let's click on the sword, and now you can see that if I animate the sword, 
you can see that the hands are moving really nicely, so he can like chop. Sorry, getting carried away. Uh, he can chop really nicely. He can do his thing. Um, uh, but notice how only the arms move, right? Which uh, uh, is often a desired effect. But if you want the uh, character to respond with his whole body, you can click on any part of the arm. You can click on this retargeting uh, uh, and do the same thing. Same thing to the other side. And now, if I animate the sword, you can see the body now responds as well because it's trying much harder to uh, stay with the um, with the character. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't, uh, which is fair. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, write me a comment or a PM if you are. Uh, if you have any questions, remember to check out the original tutorial by Louis Marcox, which uh, I hope I didn't ruin his name with my pronunciation, but it's really awesome. It goes into a lot more depth. Uh, but yeah, good luck. Thanks, guys.